Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to head out for the ride back home. It's about 6.30 in the morning here in Midland, Texas. As you can see, I got CarPlay working. Turns out it was the iPod CarPlay setting in my Goldwing audio settings that had screwed up dealt with that and that fixed the problem so we are on our way back to DFW it is about I'm gonna pull over here and engage my GPS just because I like to so it's a little dark right now there's really not much to see there's not gonna be much to see on the road on this whole trip anyway so I will touch base with you when I get a little further down the road. And I am in Sweetwater, Texas, just about to get on the freeway, heading back. I better let this truck pass me. Heading back to DFW from my ride out to West Texas. It's about a 345 mile ride today. Turn my headset down so I can avoid interruptions. I want to welcome you to my uh, YouTube channel and this motovlog. If this is your first time here, well, I just pretty much talk about anything to do with motorcycles, how to, tips and tricks, installation videos, product reviews, you name it, you're in the right place. So, in case you haven't heard, the science says that if you subscribe to my channel, you're going to get a heck of a lot more enjoyment out of riding your motorcycle. So I recommend you follow the science. Don't be a science denier. Follow the science and click on that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell icon, YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos. So today it's uh, right now it's about 81 degrees outside. It's very windy. I'm getting a crosswind coming from the south. But uh, it's not intolerable. I mentioned to you in my last moto vlog that I am testing out this F4 Customs 20 inch with a recurve at the top. And I'm also testing out this Kimimoto uh, luggage bag on my back seat. This is the first road trip I've taken with it. And I'm also testing out a new GPS tracker, which I will be reviewing and doing a video review early next week. You should see that video Monday or Tuesday. So, what are my feelings and my thoughts so far? Well, as far as the F4 Customs windshield, it's done an admirable job. It's four inches shorter than my other F4 Customs windshield, which is four inches taller than stock. This windshield is the same height as stock, but it has that little recurve at the top, which kind of gives it a little more airflow over your head. It's almost like having an extra two inches of windscreen. And I gotta say, I'm six foot one with a 33 inch inseam, and it's doing a pretty damn good job of blocking all the wind off of me. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, I am getting a little bit more wind on my shoulders because I don't think this windshield is quite as wide as the Plus 4. So, which windshield would I recommend? Okay, if I were taking a long two or three week road trip with Ricky on the back, I would probably opt for the Plus 4 just because I think it's going to provide a little extra wind protection for the passenger. Now I tend to ride solo most of the time and you know I might take a road trip once or twice a year like I did out here to West Texas. This windshield's fine for a solo rider even if you're six foot, six foot one like me. Now if you're over six foot one 
I think you probably are going to be more comfortable with the plus four. If I were another inch taller, and I, you know, I'm somewhere between 6'1 and 6'2, but when you get the helmet on and everything, it's probably over 6'2. But I'm thinking you're probably going to be more comfortable with that four, that F4 plus four windshield, the big, the big one. Now, let's talk about the Kimimoto bag. I'm pretty impressed with it. I am very impressed with it. And uh, it held all my stuff. It frees up a lot of space in the trunk and the saddlebags. And again, for a solo rider, I think it's a great thing. It, it holds more than enough for a four or five day trip. Could probably even get a week's worth of stuff in there. So I'll put a link in the description down below to the Kimimoto bag and to F4 Customs if you're interested in those products. I don't want to tell you my thoughts on the GPS tracker yet. I want to wait until I do my review. You know, I left my brother's house this morning at about 6.30, and it was just, the sun was just starting to come up when I pulled out of his garage. Uh, somebody asked me about his garage when I got there on my last motor vlog. They noticed all of his uh, car care and detailing products, and, and he's got a ton of stuff. He's, I mean, he, and that's just what he has out in his garage. He's got that much or more in other places. My brother has a 2000, I think it's a 2001 Corvette C5. And I mean, it is immaculate. And he, he really knows his stuff when it comes to detailing and car care. So I kind of, uh, I kind of follow his lead and I, he's the one that kind of guides me if I have a question about how to do something. Anytime it comes to de detailing paint or paint correction, because he knows what he's doing. In fact, when I picked up this Goldwing from Shawnee Honda, I think if you've watched my videos, you already know this story, but there were a couple of uh, damaged areas on the paint surfaces on the saddlebags. Like it had been rubbed, the clear coat had kind of been rubbed off and there, were, there was kind of a marred finish on the clear coat. In fact, Honda actually replaced my right saddlebag under warranty uh, because when I picked up the bike, I noticed it right away. There was also some marring on the left saddlebag and on the rear uh, panel. And I had taken the bike out to West Texas, to Midland, and my brother showed me how to correct that. And he did. He used his uh, three inch Griot's random orbital and was able to buff out and get that marring out of that clear coat to bring it right back to like new condition. So I'm going to be doing more detailing videos in the future. I know some of you keep asking me about it. Uh, I just got in the other day some ceramic coating that I'm going to be testing and I'll be showing you how to do some paint corrections and things just based on what I know. And hopefully uh, that will be some help to you, no matter what motorcycle you ride. Get around this truck. Now, like I said earlier, it's about 80, well, actually it's down to 80 degrees right now, but it's supposed to be a pretty hot one today. It's supposed to get up to about 95 degrees today where I'm headed. Now, hopefully I'll get there before it gets that hot but I expect it's going to be 90 degrees or hotter by the time I get home. And so I will probably, on this trip, I'll probably be stopping regularly to take a drink of water. I keep an ice chest in the trunk, and I keep uh, a bottle of water in there, so when I stop for gas, I usually buy another bottle of water and throw it in the ice chest. So do you do that when you take a road trip? Put it in the comments down below. Do you carry a bottle of water with you or do you carry an ice chest in your trunk or your saddlebag? I'd just be curious to know if, I, if that's something I do that nobody else does. I also want to give a shout out to my uh, YouTube buddy, Memphis Mike. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with Memphis Mike. He has a uh, previous generation gold wing. He has his own YouTube channel, and uh, he called me the other day, and I had seen some pictures on Facebook where he had had a, a little accident on his uh, VFR, I think it's an 800, VFR 800, 
where somebody ran him off the road and he ended up taking a spill out in the dirt. Fortunately, he was in the dirt, but he got pretty, pretty torn up. He didn't break any bones, but he got some pretty bad bruises and scratches. And, and uh, you know, if you want to show some support for Memphis Mike, go to his YouTube channel, watch some of his videos, help out his YouTube channel, subscribe to his channel. And he basically, I don't think he had on a jacket. He had on a helmet, but he didn't have on a jacket or gloves. And uh, I think he kind of paid the price for that because he got pretty scratched up. But fortunately, he's okay. He's on the mend. And uh, we hope uh, he's healed up and back on his bike soon and able to get back to work pretty soon. So I think I mentioned to you that uh, a lot of you already know that I have another website and YouTube channel for the cruise industry. That's where I got the name Cruise Man's Garage. Man, it's getting windy out here. Let me get past this truck. So many of you are already familiar with the fact that we have cruisereport.com, this website for the cruise industry. And of course, because of the pandemic, we haven't been on a cruise in probably 14 or 15 months. But it was last, uh, it was a year ago, Valentine's Day is when we got home. So it's been a, over a, well over a year. And if you've been following the cruise industry, you know it's getting ready to start up again. And so I will be, uh, we're going to be going on our first cruise for that, to cover for that website, uh, probably at the end of June, not certain yet if we're going to be able to make that one, but we definitely have one at the end of July where we'll be going to Greece for 10 days. And uh, so if you're interested in cruising or cruise travel, check out my website, cruisereport.com. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, cruisereport.com YouTube channel, and you'll start seeing daily vlogs and things. Once we start cruising again, uh, we'll be cranking up those videos over there. Anyway, I'm going to prepare for the heat. You can see all the bugs on my windshield right now. It's really been kind of rough with bugs. But I'm just going to head home. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does make a huge difference with YouTube as far as our rankings. And I know I'm real guilty of it. I'll watch a video I like and I'll forget to click on that little thumbs up. Sometimes I go back later and do it. But if you think about it, go down underneath the video and click on that little thumbs up. Uh, it really does make a big difference. Put your comments down below and I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.